welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you aren't so today's video will be me showing you guys my entire purse collection which will be super exciting because I will say that over the past couple years I've acquired some super cute purses like as soon as I started like getting into purses totes etc it just took off from there I'm obsessed now so I'm super excited I think I have a cute little collection and I am dying to show you guys so let's get into it so I'm gonna start with my most often used purse this is like my everyday bag and it is a juicy couture daydreamer purse and it is clearly gray and pink <laughs> and I attached a little my melody on her and yeah I bought this like two years ago I think I got her off of Poshmark for like probably no more than $30 um, bought her back in 2020 so like the prices for Juicy Couture purses were so much lower back then the inflated prices right now would probably have her at like $200 so I'm really glad that I got this when I did all the daydreamer purses come with this cute bow attached to it and I think that's so adorable and she was in great condition when I got her I've had it for some years now so obviously there's like some wear but the inside of the bag is literally spotless, which is so rare for Vintage Juicy. Like, she's perfect. So next, I have this beautiful pink and green Juicy Couture mini bag. This is so cute, and it still has the tag on it. And I got this from the Facebook Marketplace. This is tea, but they have, like... The lowest prices you can ever find when it comes to things like this like it's not like depop where everybody is like rushing to resell for like 200 bucks for one purse so <laughs> it's so much easier to find deals on there and i got this for 40 dollars that's still not that cheap but considering it's small it's not that cheap but it's still super cute and it's rare like i've only seen two pictures of this bag in my entire life so I feel super lucky to have her and I just love pink and green combinations especially when it comes to Juicy Couture like they have a pair of sandals that I own that like match this perfectly and like this dress that Sharpay wore it's like stripes with pink and green I don't know if y'all remember but it's so cute and I feel like pink and green is just the staple juicy colorway this is like such a summertime bag in my opinion like I love wearing this in the summer so next I have this brown juicy couture purse this one has like a super cool pattern to it it's like a quilt almost and it's like super soft and it has like a little fairy tale written with the crown and a cute bow attached and this is just such an adorable purse i also found this one on facebook marketplace for like 20 dollars and i drove all the way to another state to get her so i wanted it really bad one thing about this bag, for some reason, I don't wear it, even though I really want to. And I think this fall, I'm going to wear her a lot more. She's brown, and I'm trying to incorporate more brown into my outfits. So I'm glad I didn't sell her, because I almost did. <laughs> but yeah, super, super cute. The condition is immaculate. When I bought it, it smelled like cigarettes, so I had to clean it out. But other than that, it's so adorable and perfect for me okay now we're on to my last juicy couture purse and this is my most recent juicy bag she is pink and dark brown almost black and she has a cute key attached to it and it just says juicy couture with a little crown stitched in and i am so obsessed with this purse <laughs> This is probably my favorite Juicy Couture purse that I own. Like, she's just so gorgeous. I got this on eBay for $70. This is my most expensive Juicy bag. As some of you guys may know, like, it's hard to, like, find it for as cheap as I did, like, with my other purses in today's market with Juicy Couture. So, I still think she was worth it. It's all pink, and I didn't have an all pink Juicy bag, so... I needed one, obviously, like, how am I the pink girl without a full pink Juicy Couture bag? It just had to happen for whatever price, and I'm so happy that she came to me. Honestly, this is my favorite purse in my entire collection, like, not even just Juicy. It's just so me. 
I do wish I had way more juicy bags because those are definitely my favorite purses ever. Like, there's no bag that can top juicy in my opinion. To me, juicy outsells any designer bag in the world. So <laughs> maybe one day I'll have like an entire juicy collection that's like massive that I can show you guys and it just fill up the whole video. Anyways, on to the next one. This is a baby fat silver purse that I thrifted and I love this so much. It's very 2000s and it's just so glamorous. It has snake print on one side and the baby fat monochrome? Monochrome? I don't know. <laughs> it has the baby fat pattern all over. And I love the buckles on this. It's so cute. And it has little baby fat charms. This purse was definitely more my style like two years ago, but I still love it so much. It's super adorable. And honestly, I might sell it one day. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, she's so cute. Next, I have my gorgeous, iconic, favorite guest bag in the universe. <laughs> I love this bag so much and this is the bag I used for my what's in my purse video if you haven't seen it go check it out and everyone knows how much I love this bag it's just perfect it's pink and brown my favorite colors and it even has like cream in the middle yeah this is currently my only guest purse and honestly it might be the only one that I need <laughs> unless I can find like an all baby pink one on to the next so next I have this Kathy Van Zeeland crossbody purse and this is pink and silver with a cute little design on it. It has rhinestones embellished in it and yeah this is so so pretty. Um, personally I don't hear anybody talk about Kathy Van Zeeland purses and I really don't know why in my opinion kathy purses are like extremely similar stylistically to juicy couture so that's one of the reasons why i personally love their bags so much and this is unfortunately my only kathy bag at the moment but this is a brand that's like still relatively cheap and easy to find for a low price so i'm grateful for that yeah if you're someone who can't afford the prices that they're trying to sell juicy at at the moment i highly recommend getting you a kathy van zeeland bag they're even like just as detailed as juicy couture like the zipper has the crown logo on it and so does the bag yeah they're honestly to die for i love these purses I just gave the other one I had to my best friend and it was like a cheetah print with like ruffles. Like the bag literally had ruffles, you guys. It was so cute. But yeah, love her. So next I have this cute baby pink purse that I thrifted. And I don't even think this has a brand on it. And I just found this at the thrift store and I love the shape. So I was like, I need this in my life. And it's just the perfect simple bag. Like if you don't want to do too much, if the outfit's already super loud, like the perfect bag to tone down your fit and tie it all together. And I attached this cute little heart that I bought at this like flea market. And it's obviously handmade. So adorable i love this bag so much it's a really unique shape like i don't see a lot of bags like this so she's really good to have next i have this super cute cheetah print fur tote and you guys this is the softest thing i've ever owned like you can i feel like you can tell just how soft the texture is just off the camera like it's literally insane this bag is immaculate <laughs> i also thrifted this but i didn't buy it for thrift store price like it was like 30 dollars but i just needed it so bad and the brand on this is let me see something fabulous furs i can't read the top part but yeah this bag is like perfect for winter and i can't wait to serve cute looks in this so stay tuned Okay, so next I have this pink heart bag. I just love it so much. I got this last year and I wore the heck out of her. It was definitely my favorite bag at one point. It's just super high quality, even though it is a mini bag, like it still feels really like sturdy. The brand is The Sack. I'm not sure what that is, but I also thrifted this bag as well. And I love this little pink charm that's attached to it 
I just love when purses have little details that are so unnoticeable from a distance but like once you actually look at it it's like wow they really put effort into this bag <laughs> i thrift so many of my bags like i told you guys as long as it's pretty i don't care what's on the tag <laughs> next i have this super cute pink and black liz claiborne plaid purse this is just perfect for like a mean girls-esque type of vibe like it's very early 2000s chick flick i just love a mini bag like i don't have that many but the ones i do have i do love so much because they just like are so effortless i thrifted this as well so lastly i'm gonna show you guys my sanrio slash sanrio inspired purses all of them aren't like official but yeah next i have this super cute knit mocha purse and you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love this purse so much. Like, do you guys see her? <sighs> I'll put the bag creator's name on the screen so you guys can check out all of the other knit bags that she makes. But you guys, this is so adorable and it's probably the cutest thing I've ever owned. I say that about everything that I love really bad. <laughs> but like this might actually be i try not to wear it too often because i want it to stay in the perfect cute condition that it's in right now and honestly this bag is just perfect it's such a statement like i can't leave the house with this on and not get all the compliments so shout out to shigoi stars she's so talented okay on to the next i have this super adorable my melody tote bag and it has black bows on the side and it's obviously this like rose gold color with like a cute little melody graphic and she has ribbons on and the prettiest little dress look at her so cute i love this bag entirely too much i got this bag with my best friend and she got the karomi one and i got the melody one so this bag is really special to me and it's so cute. And it is a Sanrio collab with Naomi. Naomi? Naomi? I don't know. I'm probably butchering this so bad right now, but you guys get the point. And I've been really into tote bags lately. Like, they're just so adorable and convenient. And this one in particular, when I'm wearing her, I don't even feel like I'm wearing a purse. All right, so finally, I have this super cute plushy My Melody purse. And I got this off of Amazon. For probably like $15 a couple years ago. I feel like it was around that price. But yeah, this bag is so cute. What more do I have to say? It's just a huge My Melody head. Come on now. <laughs> I just love a cute, obnoxious Sanrio statement bag. Whenever I wear these, I get so much compliments because like they're just so freaking cute. Like these are my favorite. All right, so that is all of the purses that I will be showing you guys today. And that was about pretty much like 90% of my purse collection. The other ones aren't really up to date with my style. So yeah, hopefully you guys like my purse collection as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.